Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday after Brexit Saturday. What a clusterfuck. What a clusterfuck Parliament is and the entire Brexit process. My, my. Don't pretend to know what's going to happen here. Um, you all can read the myriad of words that were printed over the weekend about Brexit. We do know that Boris is going to try and present this withdrawal bill sometime this week. I'm not even sure when. Some people are saying uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and there's going to be amendments, and these votes and that votes. I'm not even going to dive into Brexit. I, I, I have no idea. We're effectively square sterling. Um, and like a lot of people in the world, we're just fed up with this whole uh, nonsense. The one main takeaway for me is it looks like hard Brexit is, is pretty much off the table. Nobody wants this. This is not going to happen. Um, there's either going to be an election and a referendum, new referendum vote or they're going to push this thing through uh, on some sort of like compromised Brexit withdrawal, I don't I don't know, but hard Brexit's off the table, cable should remain above 125, uh, that's kind of where we stand, not touching cable here, uh, 129.06, been down to 73, up to 50, feels like it wants to go down, uh, but I got no evidence of that, so we're just, we're just laying off cable. Let's take a look at this weekly chart in Euro. This is a downward sloper from basically the one, uh, 124 highs. We could do something from the 160 highs. Comes in around 118, but this is the more relevant trend line here. So we break this, we break this two-year downtrend on the weeklies. Three very strong positive weekly bars. Um, we're just still on this bandwagon. Euro is going to just grind higher. Um, the stories are there. Whether the stories are true or not, it doesn't really matter. It's just a matter of what the market believes and how it's positioned. So they're slowly getting long euros, but still there's so many doubters out there that the market, I would say, is not long euros here. I would say it's kind of neutral overall. Um, ECB this Thursday should be a non-event, but something to keep in mind. There could be some position trimming into ECB, which will be left-hand side for the new Euro longs. Um, and what you want to do uh, is just try and grab some Euros uh, on the cheap, right? So any move down below 111.25, basically between 111.25 and 110.25 is a buy in Euro dollar. So you might get some Brexit volatility, you might get some ECB volatility, uh, Italian budget, that's a negative, could create some downdrafts. But overall, uh, the new theme out here is uh, U.S. Is, is screwed growth-wise, politically it's screwed, uh, it's cutting rates, and the Europe, Europe is not cutting rates anymore is not in great shape but is not screwed it's just stably null shall we say zero growth but stable better employment um, but more importantly questioning negative rates questioning central bank policy and this is changing the dynamic between euros and dollars. This is the story we believe that's going on and we're going to stick with it. Um, little overextended here. We are actually not long euros right now, uh, so it's a little bit unnerving. But we'll figure out a way to get some euros in and we're just going to be patient. Especially with Brexit going on, should be some vol uh, on both sides of this market. Let's talk about dollar yen. 
easing down, but no real drama. 29.55 overnight, so we did do a new low. We thought there was going to be some acceleration through 45 on Friday. There was not. Um, not really sure what to do with this. You kind of, in this, in this sentiment that everyone's just selling dollars against everything, you kind of want to just sell rallies on this. Um, but let's just say it's very low vol and acting kind of funny. Dollar yen is just kind of acting funny, so we're not going to be playing with dollar yen today. Euro yen is so bid, it's holding up dollar yen. Stocks are going left and then right and then left, back up at 94 today after trading 76 on Friday. Um, let's just leave dollar yen alone uh, for now. But if you put a gun to our head, we're sellers, right? So we'll, we would like to sell high ones. Don't think we're going to trade 109 um, this week anytime soon. Aussie's bid, for those of you who held your 6810s, bravo. Um, still looks bid. Looks like we're going to test this 6890 level, and that's really going to be a moment. Um, we'll be fairly extended on the bullish side there. We'll have to take a look at what's going on in China and the dollar in general, but Aussie is bid 68, 65 the high. Kiwi, same thing. Those 45s, uh, sorry, those 55s never traded again um, from Asia on Friday. Here we are at 99, 04 the high. Kiwi is bid. We are also going to be attacking this uh, 6449 soon, in our opinion. So, Try and stay long commodity currencies if you can. We got Canadian elections today, so don't don't pile into Dollar Canada in the European session. Really, really, really low vol, very, very low interest ahead of these elections. It's offered, but um, just be patient and let's see uh, if Trudeau loses his majority in uh, the House. And we'll see how Dollar Cat is left. My guess is, and I'm not super close to this issue, is that if he does lose majority, Dollar Cat will float higher. From there, you can go ahead and sell it. Here, just do nothing ahead of the election. Boons, middle of nowhere, um, very much like Euro. We're square right now, a little bit unnerving. But we don't mind. We've been through, uh, you know, after 30 years, unnerving is the wrong word, but it feels a little bit uncomfortable not to be short boons. Worst case scenario, we're going to be selling through the lows of this hanging man here, which is 170.76. Um, but we do expect a chance to uh, get some boons out, 172.40 up to 173. So keeping a close eye on this, this didn't bounce. We haven't made a new high yet. So it still looks quite bearish. But again, with Brexit playing out, there could be a run to safety, at least I would say a false run to safety in Boons um, this week. What else is out there? Dollar Swiss, very offered. Um, Closed below this 98.40, 66 was the high um, Friday, was the low Friday. This just looks offered, and it's sort of one of these telltale deals where this is offered when it's kind of marginally risk neutral or risk on. That just means people are selling dollars. Uh, gives you a little more confidence being long euro dollar. Uh, but dollar Swiss is offered. You can sell dollar Swiss high ones. There's going to be no acceleration through the lows or anything because no one really has any positions in dollar Swiss here at 98.60. Um, but in classic dollar Swiss terms now, this is probably just going to go to 90 and really surprise everybody. Um, take a look at what happens when it goes down. Here's a very good example. We went from 1.00 to 97.10. We went here from 99.80 down to 95.40. Um, 
dollar Swiss as a rule goes down better than it goes up a lot of reasons for that we don't need to get into in this morning video but um, dollar Swiss looks like a sell on rally don't understand this uh, dollar rand so much bad news coming out of that country kind of as always um, I don't know when they're gonna get their shit together but you know power outages are coming and, and um, looks like a bit of a mess obviously with a weaker dollar and neutral risk you could dip your toe into emerging markets but seems a false dawn to me and we should start looking to get ready to sell czar no dog in this fight here we're absolutely in the middle of the overall range uh, we'll take a closer look if we see 1450 and then we'll also take a closer look if we get above this uh, 1503 level there's your dollar czar euro yen how many days? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up days. Very overextended here. Um, this is obviously a proxy for Boons and a positive Brexit. This 121.40, um, four different daily highs going back to August. Very important. Bit skeptical uh, of topside here after so many up days and so little downside action. Um, but you can be tiny short or square. You don't want to throw the, you don't want to, you know, throw a big position at the short side because the trend is obviously up here. Let's have a look at the weeklies. Bang. Those are two big green bars this could easily go or it's, it's on its way to 130 um, so careful if you're short uh, we were asked on Friday about shorts we kind of gave the nod to a tiny short but frankly that was shit advice never went to really a pip lower we've been 7814 today you're either square or tiny short and you're looking to either get long through 34 here um, or buy a dip in front of uh, 120 the figure all right I said enough there's no real data today we're just watching headlines for brexit there is German PPI but no one really cares about that I wish you all luck and loads of dough and I will see you tomorrow ciao